Now in this example, we're gonna have an arrow which is fired vertically into the air. And the first thing I need to do is maybe consider the start and the end point. So I'm gonna say for this that the start point is when the arrow is pulled back in the bow, but it hasn't been released. So that's my starting point. The end point is when the arrow gets to the very highest point. And at that point, it stops going up. And for an instant, it's not moving at all. So it's going up, it slows down to a stop, and then it comes back down. So that's going to be my end point at the very highest point. So how's the energy stored at the beginning? Well, we can see that the piece of elastic here has been extended. So initially we have the energy stored in the elastic potential store. Now, a very small amount of time later, as the arrow is just released from the bow, we can see that the arrow has gone up in height slightly. So the gravitational potential of the arrow has increased by a small amount but it's also now traveling really, really quickly. And therefore, most of its energy is now stored in the kinetic store. Once this is released and it goes higher and higher, as it gets higher, it starts to slow down. And so the gravitational uh, store increases while the kinetic store goes down. And this happens until it gets to the very highest point, at which point it's now got no kinetic energy because it's not moving. And instead, all of its energy is stored in the gravitational potential store. So what about the transfer processes for each of these? Well, initially, uh, there's going to be a force which is causing the arrow to accelerate as this piece of elastic uh, goes back to its original shape. And because we've got a force acting on it, we've got this mechanical transfer. And then once it's actually left the bow behind and it's going up into the air, once again, we have a mechanical transfer of energy because what's happening is that there's a force acting down the weight over a certain distance. So for this one here, it's always a mechanical transfer. And at all times, we're going to assume that there's no losses to the surroundings, so the thermal store of the surroundings doesn't increase. So that's one way to maybe look at the energy stores and transfers for an object which has been projected into the air. Now, the next example below is looking at a bullet, and for that, we need one of these. 